before we joined the Peer Power Project, I was a stay-at-home mum, had recently uh, gone through periods of homelessness um, and had just got my uh, permanent accommodation, just got my daughter in, um, settled and got her into school and uh, I had some undiagnosed mental health issues that I had to manage. Um, I finally got help for them and was managing them over a good period of time and I, with my daughter going to school I decided um, I needed to sort that, finally, you know, decide what I need to do in my life. And um, that's why, when I was looking at opportunities, I finally came across the Peer Power Project and decided it was the best one. The impact it's had on my life is that it's enabled me to get the experience and the skills I need to do the job that, I'm, that I've always wanted to do. It's enabled me to get the qualification that I've wanted to gain in order to move my life forward. Um, it's given me a uh, first-hand experience as to why we do what we do in regards to support planning, uh, recording information, that kind of thing, and how it relates to keeping projects like um, the Peer Power Project going. Um, and it's, it's, it's been a real learning experience more than anything. Now I'm working as an assistant um, support worker at Look Ahead in um, Tower Hamlets. Um, the biggest difference that the Peer Power Project has made to that's my future is the fact that it prepared me for my job, literally. You, with the Peer Power Project, you got your hands dirty, you worked with customers at every aspect, and you learn, okay, why we do certain things, why we fill out certain forms, why we, and how important that is to aspects of the job in regards to, you know, receiving funding for projects, receiving, you know, um, customer impacts and our customer feedback and, imp and the impact it has on the project itself. Um, and we learned about, we did learn about, you know, funding bodies like the ECF and London Councils and how um, basically, you know, because of the results we produce and the customers we help, we are, we are in a position to gain funding and gain um, support from them, which has made it so much easier to kind of keep these projects going. And I think, especially for where I am now, I think these projects are so integral to kind of helping people back it, find their feet back into work and I think there should be more of them to be perfectly honest because they are effective they are more effective than anything I've seen and I've tried everything I've been to uni I've been to, um, been to uni been doing the work programs been doing all that but this is the most effective I've found personally I work as a assistant support worker at Look Ahead in the near future I would like to complete my QCF level two and three in health and social care and I'd also like to possibly apply for a support worker post next year, but at the moment I'm very comfortable. With a programme like the Peer Power Programme, it is a real work experience and qualification that you're getting. You're getting your hands dirty, basically, and it's an effective programme because it gives you something to put on job applications afterwards. There should I've, I've tried everything to go back into work and I found this programme to be the most effective. It, I've tried going to uni, I've tried um, working out right, I've tried um, the work program. Nothing has been as effective as this actual program because you get a decent qualification, you get um, decent work experience that you can take on to go and apply for other jobs. And I've been, and it's not just look ahead, I've been um, successful with, I've had other successful interviews with other jobs as well. So if it's been good to have the ECF fund programs like this and to be honest it would be great if they funded more because it's effective more than anything else it's effective if you want to get more people back into work this is a way to do it